All right, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to be going over configuration manager and what configurations are. For example, whenever you start an assembly, uh, you're set to a default configuration. As you can see over here, next to the name, it says default and display state one. This means this is the only configuration that you have. Basically, you created a part, you assembled it together, and that's the only way you can show it right now to customers or to whoever you want. Well, what if you want to switch between configurations? What if basically you want to go between this and a section view, for example? So I'm going to show you a way to create a configuration which can come up very helpful uh, for you to be able to switch between maybe two designs, maybe something that has to do with a different handle or maybe a section view or different things that you want to show. Maybe even go ahead and make these, either suppress some of these brackets or uh, change the appearance of that, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. If you go over here under the configuration tab, configuration manager, and click on it, you're going to see that you have your default. I'm going to expand this out a little bit. You're going to see that your default, the Staco clamp. So this is going to be the name of your part. And the first configuration that SOLIDWORKS assigns for you is always going to be called default. To create a new configuration, you can either right click anywhere over here and click on add configuration, or you can right click on your part itself and click on add configuration as well. Let's go ahead and just do it from here. Now for the configuration name, let's call it section view. We're going to be showing a section view of the part in our next, uh, uh, in the second configuration. For a description, you can either, uh, if, if this doesn't describe what you're trying to show, that's when a description would become very helpful. Okay, you can also use that same description and they use the bill of material whenever you're describing it. If you create a bill of material from that configuration as well. And whatever comments you want to say as well for that configuration. If you scroll down over here, you're going to see Bill of Material Options. And this is going to be the name of your part. And then you can assign it what the part number displayed when used in a Bill of Material, what you want it to be. You can either have it to be the document name or the configuration name, which is a section view. Or you can have a specified name that you want to call it and rename it that. For now, let's go ahead and leave it as configuration name. Over here, under Child Component Display, when used as a sub-assembly, you can actually either show, hide, or promote the sections or whatever you change in that configuration, you can uh, say you want to show them if it's a sub-assembly or hide them or promote them, okay? And we'll get to the advanced options a little bit later. For now, let's go ahead and click on OK to accept this. Now you're going to notice that your second uh, configuration has been created and there's a yellow box and a green check mark on the right side of it. That means now your second configuration is actually turned on. Okay, now you want to come down here and click on link display states to, to, to configurations over here. So click on that and that links the display states. So when you go from one to the next, whatever you've changed it that, uh, from one to the next, it changes them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by creating a section view. But I'm not going to create a real section view. I'm going to create an extrude cut over here. So let's go back to my assembly. Go to my top plane over here. Make it normal to my top plane. And let's go ahead and create a sketch over here on the top plane. So I'm going to right click, left click on it and click on sketch. And I'm going to click on rectangle. And let's go ahead and get started over here. You doesn't have to be exact. I'm just assuming this is about the center. And I created a rectangle all the way that covers my entire part. And click on OK. Now if I rotate this, you're going to notice that my rectangle actually goes in the middle of my part. So when I go over here under my assembly, and assembly features and extrude cut. I'm going to have to make sure that first one side is through all, all the way at the bottom, and then the direction number two needs to be at the top and also through all. This makes sure that it cuts the entire part in half. Click on OK. Once you click on OK, you're going to see that now your, cut, your part is cut in half. So you can see everything uh, halfway. So you can see how the screw is, how the bracket looks like on the inside, how far that bracket goes into the handle, and stuff like that. So this can be very helpful if you want to show a customer uh, or a vendor what you're trying to make and how it looks like on the inside to give them a brief understanding of your part. Now if I go back to my feature, uh, my uh, configuration manager, you're going to notice that you're still at section view number one. Now if I just double click to go back and forth between these two, all you have to do is double click or right click on it and cl click on show configuration. As you can see, your part shows up now. So it goes back to normal. So my first configuration is this. My second configuration is this. So you can see how easy it is to go back and forth between your configurations depending which one you want to show. So that's how you use the configuration manager. In our next session, I'm going to be going over advanced options for the configuration manager.